everybody. Sup? So, as I was saying in the last episode, we were talking about this new show and jump game coming out in America. Mm -hmm. Jump stars, whatever, I don't know. Is that only on the three or is it on the four? I believe it's on three and four. Oh, good. I always feel like I need to ask just to check. But anyway, I was telling uh, Jared that there was this weird character. I don't know his name. He's mm -hmm. probably from some obscure mini comic. Mm. But pretty much he's like some Octodad like character. He's an octopus. Mm. And one of his specials was is that he pretty much grabs your opponent and he does the Superman spin around the world like a zillion time thing. Huh. And he won't shut the hell up doing the whole thing. <laughs> and I don't speak Japanese, but at one point he's like, Sweet messes! Oh my goodness, sweet messes! <laughs> I guess he was just saying, Excuse me while I do this kind of thing. Uh. It was really bizarre. <laughs> and he had two versions which were ultimately the same thing. Mm. I'm trying to remember who else was there. There was. Okay, so remember when we said that I don't understand why Goku wasn't in the front runner with like Naruto and Luffy? Yeah. And instead you had some uh, black haired spiky kid with like the green outfit or something? Uh, the kid from Hunter x Hunter? I guess, I don't know. I... Okay, any anyway, anyway. Damn it. But yeah, I. His special was kind of weird. What did he do? He pretty much did like a charge punch type thing. Hmm. Sounds like it could be Hunter x Hunter. I never checked that out. Uh, I heard it's good, I just never watched it. I'm trying to remember who else was there that I was like. Oh, nice, you can do it. Damn, I'm drawing a blank here. Well, there was a pink-haired girl who I guess changes her hair color or something, or maybe it was the other way around, I don't hmm? know. From what? I don't know, I don't know the name, I'm just telling you who I remember. Okay. Uh... Damn, I'm gonna draw a blank here. Oh, oh, there's that Taco guy, or T-A-I-K-O. Oh, Taiko? Taiko, that's it. Oh, the drummer? Yeah, the boy with the blue hair. Yeah. He was just kind of anticlimactic. Hmm. Uh, that North Star dude was in there, which was kind of funny. Oh, did he do the, like, super fast punch yeah. thing? There was that. Nice. That's kind of cool. I think he had another buddy with him, too. I couldn't mm. tell. They kind of looked the same. Right. I never watched that. I heard it's good, though. Yeah. It's a classic, I hear. Mm. Oh, and then there's that police cop guy I keep telling you about. The guy with the unibrow. Oh. Once so. you see him, you're like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> How was he? Oh, uh, his is actually kind of funny. Like, do you remember uh, Phoenix Wright from Marvel vs. Capcom? Yeah. He has a very similar special to it uh, with one of them where pretty much his boss kind of comes out of nowhere and starts yelling at him. <laughs> he's freaking the hockey uh -huh. puck out. Uh -huh. And then you have a moment to, like, run around for a quick second. If your opponent, like, gets near you or attacks you, mm. his boss, like, screams, like, these giant words and they turn uh. to stone and crush anyone nearby. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. So... Yeah, that's his. <laughs> There's another weird Japanese character. I don't know who he is, but he just does a meteor attack. Which is actually kind of funny, because I guess he has a depression rate. Oh. Where if he's, like, really happy, he summons, like, a meteor to crush you. Mm -hmm. And that's all good and dandy. But then there's a, uh... When he's depressed. I laughed at this a little bit, actually. Mm. When he's depressed, he has like that sad look on his face, and then when he does it, a tiny meteor just hits the opponent on the head, just a tiny one, and then that's it. Oh, jeez. Like, oh, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know the context for this guy, but he was a really uh, strange one. That I kind of might. Now, I'm not going to remember all of them, but yeah, that was more or less that. Nice. A lot of other characters I don't know. Right. Uh, how about Toriko? He's this kind of buff dude with blue hair. I thought I already said that dude's name. Unless oh. I got mixed up with Taiko. I don't know. But yeah, no. There, there was that buff blue haired dude. Um, 
Oh, 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 what's the name of the red-haired, blue, uh, purple tunic, uh, samurai dude? Ronnie oh, Kenshin? Oh, Ronnie Kenshin? Yeah, he was in there. Oh, nice. And so was his, uh, mummy friend. Mm, right, the main villain dude. They were both in there. That was Good. pretty cool. Oh, let's see, what, what can I do? Uh, hmm. Hmm. We don't have a lot of sevens. No, we don't. We could do a mingling. Yeah, let's do it! Random world time, I mean, random room time. Survey says, show me potato salad! What? Oh! I was right! Yeah, you were. We get cutscenes between each section. So there's no event betweens. Mm. It's just more exposition. Ah, uh, that's it. She gets ganked. Ah, crap. Well then. Mm. This is the first time we did this on this channel. The series. Wanna go for it anyway? Sure. Yeah. That's creepy. Bottomless pit. Yeah. This Can't see oh, duck. That's oh. the regular ones. What? I don't think we're gonna get much experience here. Mm. Yeah. If that's the case, then you want to back out and, uh... Whoa, there's a lot of them, though. Yeah, no, there's a lot of these. I can get Donald, and yeah. I can tell exactly how much I'm going to get from all this. Exactly. But I think I'm going to level up soon. That's good. Which is good, because then we'll be able to really tell how much we... Oh, there you go. Alright. Anytime you want to pop up, Donald. Yeah, we could use you. Brighten up the place. <laughs> that too. Uh, is that Don? Yes, it, it is. is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Buy him. Okay, there we go. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Just gonna Unleash grab that. The light. Unleash here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna skip this. Did we do it? You said uh, we were gonna do. Oh, wait. No, you did CP last time. Yeah. So grab a little bit more health. Very good! Yeah, okay, folks. I think we're gonna. Well, just dash. back out of it and... No, no, we'll just, we'll just dash through this. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Alright, sure. I'm not gonna bother with this. <laughs> Eight now. Well. Fine. We'll do another teaming. Yeah. The best I can give you. Yep. Fine with that. Let's... So that's what a bottomless darkness room looks like. Mm. Probably would've been really useful in, like, the beginning. Probably. It said we weren't getting those at the beginning. We got those like halfway through, I think. But no, I agree with you. It would have been useful earlier. Darn it! Even though I clearly hit him before yeah. he hit me. Hit boxes. How do they work? Like non existing! <laughs> but yeah, so whatever that show and jump game is, I'd probably get into that. Yeah. Good to see old Boofy at it. Oh yeah. Plus, I think it's from the same company that made all the previous Jump Star games. Oh, that's good. So it's similar fine style. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Calm down, Sora. Ring around the rosy, Sora. Not the heartless. That should. Yep. Hit the other one. Nice. Oh, we have two Oblivion cards. Awesome. Yep. I don't know why. I thought we only had one unless you picked one up and I wasn't paying attention. Which I probably think we is got, the case. I think we got one randomly, I want to say. Yeah. I want to say we got it randomly. Ow. Stop it. Well, there well, we go. At least it hit him once. Ooh. It's a goofy. <sighs> don't know, I have a Donald. Nope. Not yet, anyway. Awesome. 
So by the way, I was gonna kind of bring these topics up when we, uh, but I figured I could ask you now. Uh, did you check out that guy I told you about with his theory on the evolution of some of these characters? Not yet, only because I've had a lot of content to catch up on this week of stuff. Gotcha. Like when you, um, what was I? Right. When you uh, originally messaged me that I was already um, in a playlist of um, a sideshow I watch when I have like... It's just a thing I haven't watched in a while. Gotcha. Deals with StarCraft, which is a game I don't play at all. Right. Hell, I don't even watch a lot of StarCraft things, but... It's like a funny thing. It's a show called uh, When She's Fails. It's put on by this... Um, they stream, but they also like get sent replays because you can do that in that game apparently where you have replays of your matches that film it right and um the whole thing of the show is that um when the players spawn in they have like gatherers mm -hmm. to gather stuff and whatnot right <clears throat> to build the better units and it keeps going on that well Termin the cheesing uh. thing comes in the fact ah oh, dang it it made the wild crush is that um Sometimes people take those beginning units and they just do a bomb rush at you right. to try end the match super fast, or they use other strategies to try do it. Uh -huh. So it's a show dedicated to when those people fail at it, and it usually is really funny. Gotcha. Plus, the two people doing the commentary are really good. They're super funny, which is the other reason why I watch it. Oh, damn, that looked cool. Give me strength. <clears throat> Damn oh, you. Don't need to. Oh. Dang it, Cloud. I'm kind of rooting for you. Oh, there you go. Now you can do this thing. Yay. You're all dead. But yeah, when I get the chance, I'm definitely going to have that as background noise at work. Yeah, sure. As with everything else. Damn you. <clears throat> no, it's just really interesting. Uh, it's all fan theory based, but it's pretty oh, much yeah. saying like what could have been the possible cause of like these changes from the Zoras. Right, like when they turned to bird people. Yeah, or it's like why did they become hostile in some games while in others they became allies? Mm. Mm. It's actually really fascinating. Nice. Although I personally feel like they might be giving too much credit to Nintendo team because I don't think they planned most of that. Nintendo men! Everything's a play! What else are their stupid thing this Oh, toad does, the toads don't have genders because they're mushrooms. Blah, 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 blah. Every other stupid thing. What the f yeah. <laughs> but pretty much it was saying that um, I think the thing that I overall liked about the idea behind mm -hmm. what he was saying is because remember how a while ago there was that rumor saying that Netflix was interested in making a Zelda oh, yeah. series? And that was quickly debunked. Yeah. By Nintendo themselves. Mm hmm. But when the guy was mentioning about certain alliances and that there may have been like civil wars and whatnot going on between the Kingdom of Hyrule and the Guado people and all that. Right. I was like, you know, the way that he kind of like mapped <clears throat> it out and everything, I'd actually like to see this as a show. Right. Or like a cinematic movie. Cool. That's when you know someone's doing it, right? Oh. Because it was really interesting how in like some parts it was talking about like, well, it was possible that during this time, the Zora's domain was, what? Uh, Donald. I guess it's gone. Never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. It was pretty much saying how the domain was important for like the purification of the water mm. or something like that. And so when they uh, made alliance with the Hyruleans, they were able to, like, get good resources through, and that's how they were able to live so prosperously. Mm. But then when Gan took over and things, like, became issues, right. the domain became poisonous, and some of the Zoras had to leave, mm. while others decided to stay behind and became the hostile river Zoras that you know in some games. Mm. That's that in a nutshell. Mm. Interesting. Like, okay, that makes sense. And then they kind of talk about, like, Lord Jabu Jabu, that stupid whale, and his importance to some, uh, the, the, the hierarchy, I guess. Uh-huh. 
Oh, it's just really fascinating stuff to me. Right. Even though, like I said, yeah, I don't think Nintendo thought that far ahead. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty neat notion. Nice. Yes. Well, that's the good thing about fans. Like, um, no, earlier I mentioned, like, certain other fandoms and whatnot, but, like, when it's those fans that, like, kind of breathe new life into things and do it in a way that's not really, like, super nerdy or annoying sounding. Yeah. It's good stuff, usually. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, I remember. Exactly. I remember there was one that was actually, uh... I'm not gonna name the guy per se, even though his YouTube name is actually in the name. Mm -hmm. Someone actually uh, posted or wrote an article saying how the Link is dead is actually not true at all. Oh, gotcha. I know who we're talking about. Got it. Because it's actually quite clear in the story. When the original theory was is that when um, Link fell in that hole during Majora's Mask chasing to get his uh, Ocarina yeah. back, he died that way and he was dealing with death. And that's what mm. Majora's Mask apparently was supposed oh, to be no. about, says the fan. Right. But according to Historia, it's written a few times even in the original manual of Majora's Mask that Termina is a parallel world to Hyrule. Right. So, since it's parallel, that means it does exist. Yeah. So, it's not a dream or anything like that. <clears throat> right. So, there are a few articles saying that and official Nintendo descriptions saying, like, yep, nope, that's the case. He's not dead. It's just he's in an alternate world. Yeah. Then again, a lot of people didn't imagine that a Link losing against Ganon was a thing. Yeah, I still think that's kind of stupid to me. Yeah. And we'll continue that uh, conversation next time. Oh, shoot. To be continued. Just a little bit. It's cool. Alright, we'll be back. And...